Hello, so I just wanted to create this short video to show you how you can put multiple maps in a single layout. The map you see here is just one of Pittsburgh. It's one of the projects we'll be doing um, in this course. And you can see that I've just got one map up here. Let me close the catalog for a second. We've got one map here. Let's say I want to add another map. So I've got insert. I'll click new map and just new map. And now you see I've got another map frame up. I'm going to do this again to create three map frames. So here's another new map. So now I've got three map frames. Here's the original one with the original data. Map two and map three are just blank generic maps. What I want to do is take some of the data from map one and put it into map two. So you'll notice here I've got this pools layer. And I'm going to add that pools layer to another map. But before I do, let me copy... I'm going to right click on Pittsburgh. I'm going to copy Pittsburgh. And now I'm going to go to map two, right click on map two, click paste. And now I've got Pittsburgh here on the second map. I'm actually going to do this for the third map as well because I'm going to have three maps of the Pittsburgh area. So let's paste it here as well. So now map one, map two, map three are all of the same area. I'm now going to take the pools layer here. I'm going to turn it off for the moment right click on it copy it and i'm going to put the pools layer on map two so i'm going to go on map two right click paste and now i've got my pools layer here i'm going to click on it to turn it on and we can see the pools layer is now here in this map i'm going to go back to my original map and here's rivers so i'm going to turn it off i'm going to click on it here right click copy I'm going to go to map three and now i'm going to put the rivers on map three and I'll turn it on. So map three is Pittsburgh with the rivers. I'm gonna change that base map. I don't want the topographic. So we'll change the base map right up here and we'll put an imagery base map for this one. So now we've got this map here of Pittsburgh with the rivers and a imagery base map. Map two, it's the topographic map, and we've got pools open and closed. Map three here, actually the first map, we just have Pittsburgh block centroids, which gives us the age of age distribution of kids in that neighborhood or in different neighborhoods of Pittsburgh. We'll zoom into this one a little bit more. Okay, so I've got three maps, and what I want to do is put all three maps on a single layout. So now I'm just going to come up here and click Insert. And we're going to click New Map Layout. We can choose whatever we want. For this exercise, I'll just pick ANSI C, which is 17 inches by 22 inches. And now I've got a blank layout. So now what I'll do is come up here to the map frame, click on Map Frame, and I'll just use Default Extent for the first one. And you'll notice this is Map, Map 1, Map 2. So I can select whatever map I want. And I can drag this down and then there's more. Here's map three. So we've got map three, map two, map one. Um, right here, this is map one. It's map and map one are the same. I'm just going to click default extent. And I'm going to make a little extent here. And now map one, which is this one, is in my layout. I don't have a legend in there. I don't have a north arrow yet, so I can add those. Here's north arrow, and I'll just put the north arrow right here. Um, I don't have a scale bar, so I'll click on scale bar, and I'll put it right here. I don't have a legend, so I'm going to click on legend, and let's say I want to put it in the map, so I'll put the legend right here. And so this is my first map layout. We have this map frame done where what we want to do is add map 2 to this layout. So I'm going to come back here, click on map frame again. We want map 2. Uh, so let's use this one. We've got something to scale already. We don't want default extent here. We'll just use this guy. Now we're going to put our map frame. And here it is. Um, this is the Pittsburgh one from map 2. And so now, once again, we're going to add our north bar. So I'll put the north bar right here. I'll add a scale bar. I'll just use this generic one. And we'll stick it here. And then I want to put a legend in this map as well. And I can put the legend anywhere. I can put it inside the map frame, or I can put it outside the map frame. 
for this one, I'll just for show put it right here. Now that doesn't look too good, so I'm gonna click on this map frame, make it a little bit smaller, take this legend and drag it up here and put it here. I still have the scale bar, I like it there, so I'm gonna keep it there. But I'm gonna move this north arrow, oops. I'm gonna move this north arrow if I can right there. And again, it's not the greatest place, but we're just using this for demonstration purposes. So now we wanna add the third map frame, which is Pittsburgh and the river. So I'm gonna click on map frame, come down to map three here. This is the one we want. Here's the extent of it. And the map is now gonna populate here. And once again, I can add north arrow, scale bar, legend. Um, I can add whatever I want to the imagery. Now you might come here and you might say, well, I wanna zoom in closer on this map. We can do that. So here's this map frame. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click activate. And when I do that, now I have control of this map frame. And so now I can zoom in or zoom out and it's independent of the other maps. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit further here and I'm done back out of it by using this button. And now I'm back to this original. So this is how you would add multiple frames to a single layout. It's Once you get the hang of it, it, it's actually pretty easy, not that difficult to do. And so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I hope this was helpful. And again, any other questions, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them.